welcome to your very own Tarla Dalal's Kitchen. I, Chef Pal, today will be showing you one of the most popular South Indian recipe that is enjoyed for breakfast, lunch, snacks or dinner and it is called Idli. Idli and dosa batters are available everywhere but this recipe that I'm going to be showing you today it's very easy to make but remember you have to make sure that you listen to every every tip that I'm going to give you. So let's see how this is made. So our first step would be soaking our ingredients. So we're going to soak the urad dal and the fenugreek seeds together in enough water for 4 hours. I have done that and drained it. It'll look like this. Our second step would be soaking the parboiled rice. This is called as parboiled rice. You get this everywhere. But sometimes the variety that you buy is very very important because your idli quality will depend upon it. Along with this we are going to soak some jada poha that's called as thick rice flakes. This gives a nice softness. So I have soaked this in enough water for 4 hours and this is how it looks. Now that we have soaked the fenugreek seeds and the urad dal separately and these two ingredients separately, we will also have to blend it separately. So let's start. So here I have taken a big jar. You can also use the one that you get of steel. So we will add first the urad dal and the fenugreek seeds mixture. The fenugreek seeds also gives that softness. So make sure you add it just as it's in the recipe. And now before I start adding the water, I would like to tell you that water always depends upon the quality of your urad dal. So add it accordingly. So we'll add little by little. And this mixture has to be blended till it is smooth. It will need some more water. We will just give it a nice mix. It is not smooth enough yet so we are going to blend it even more. I want it really really smooth. Let's check if it's smooth yet or no. Yes, as you can see it's almost smooth but I think one, two times more blending is required. So let's do that. Let's check. Yes, it is nice and smooth as you can see. Let's transfer this to a steel bartan. Urad dal and methi seeds will take less time to blend than the parboiled rice and the poha. So now let's blend the parboiled rice and the poha. It's the parboiled rice that takes too much time to blend. But trust me, all this is worth the effort. Again, the quality of the parboiled rice will also depend on the water that it takes. So always add little by little. We will blend this slightly coarse. This is very very important. Make sure you do not blend it till it is nice and smooth. We want that coarse texture. So now let's blend. Let's give it a little stir. And let's blend it again. I think we need little more water, so we are going to add it, mix it well and blend it again. Let's check. It is very very coarse right now, we don't want it so coarse, we want it slightly coarse, so let's blend it again. Let's check. Yes, it is nice and slightly coarse. We want it. So let's transfer this with the urad dal batter. So this is the urad dal and the fenugreek seeds mixture. Make sure you always take a bartan like this. To this we'll add a parboiled and poha mixture that we just blended. 
For the urad dal and the methi mixture, when I blend it, I took approximately one cup of water. And for the parboil rice and poha mixture, I approximately took one and a half cups of water. But as I said, water will always vary. So now we'll add salt. This is optional. You can also add salt after the batter has been fermented. But I prefer adding it right now. And mix it very, very well. When I say very well is I don't want the urad dal batter to sit down. I want both of them equally mixed. This is very very important so make sure you vigorously mix it. So our batter has been mixed well. So our work is complete now. We have to ferment it. So make sure you cover this with a plate and keep it in a warm place for at least 12 hours. Again the hours of fermenting will depend upon the climate. In summers, the batter will be fermented quickly than in winters. So let's go and keep this in a warm place. So it's been 12 hours and our batter must have been fermented. Let's check. Yes. So now, before we start mixing it, let's switch on the gas for the steamer. So till our water is getting boiled, let's mix this well. Remember, we've added salt before, but if you yet need to add some more, you can add it now. And we'll mix it very well. It's smelling so nice. I'm sure the idlis are going to be so soft and yummy. The batter is also of the right consistency as you can see. So now, let's pour them into the idli molds. This is an idli stand. I've greased it with some oil. So now, let's pour the batter. Make sure you do not fill too much of the batter or too little as we require some space for the idli to fluff up. So in the same way, we'll fill the remaining molds to make one batch. So our four trays of idli molds have been ready. So now place the second stand on the first stand. And make sure when you place it, these holes that you can see, the three holes should be on top of an idli. You should be able to see through the holes that your idli is there down. That is done so that you get proper steaming all over. So adjust it accordingly. So our idlis have been filled in the molds and our water is boiling well. Before we start placing the idlis in the steamer, I would like to tell you something. The water proportion that you put here is very important. If the water is too much, it will rise and get through the idlis and you do not want that. So be careful to add little water. Now we'll place the idli molds in the steamer. And we'll steam this for 10 to 12 minutes. It's been 10 minutes and our idlis must have been done. Let's check. So we'll switch off the flame. They've pluffed up really well. So to check whether idlis have been cooked well, take a toothpick and insert it in one of the idlis. It should come out clean. So now let's cool our idlis. I've removed these from the steamer and allowed them to cool for at least 5 to 8 minutes. They have been cooled slightly. So now let's demold them. So I'm going to be showing you how to demold one stand. So take a spoon like this, a teaspoon, then put it in water lightly so that the idlis do not stick and then demold it in this way. So our soft idlis are now ready. So we'll break one idli and it is so soft. I can eat just one right now. It's just melting in the mouth. So now you know the exact tips. So now let's serve them. So serve these yummy idlis immediately and enjoy it with some sambar and coconut chutney for a perfect South Indian meal. If you're going to serve these idlis later, make sure you put them in some casserole. Download the Tarla Dalal app on your Apple and Android devices. Follow us on the Facebook at tarladalal.com. If you enjoy our recipes, click like to see more of my recipes click here please share your comments i would love to hear them i'm waiting for them